Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. We're going to start this week off with the, well this week we're going to wrap up chapter 4, the book of 1 Samuel. And we're going to see some of what, or we're going to see what Samuel told Eli back when he was, he was little. God said he was going to bring judgment upon the house of Eli. And we're going to see that happen this week. So, uh, just for contextual purposes, we're going to read verse 10. We, we ended with verse 10 in the last episode or last week. And uh, so, <clears throat> today we're going to focus on verse 11. But here we go. So the Philistines fought, and Israel was defeated, and every man fled to his tent. And the defeat was very great. For 30,000 foot soldiers of Israel fell. Now verse 11 says, Moreover, the ark of God was taken, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, died. So here, here's the thing, is that the, the nation of Israel has gone to battle against the Philistines. The Philistines have, have recognized their God. Israel has worshipped God. But because of the sin that was going on in the in the temple or in the tabernacle, uh, because of what was going on with the, the priests, the high priest was overlooking it. Uh, judgment fell upon the nation of Israel. Uh, this being is Old Testament, so don't don't feel like that. Uh, Judgment falls on us when we mess up. Judgment fell on Jesus. Now we have, uh, when we mess up, we need to get up and keep going. That sin's been paid for, doesn't? And and grace doesn't give us a license just to live however we want to. You can live however you want to, but you're going to miss out on the true, tremendous, and true blessings that God wants you to walk in. And he wants you to be a blessing to others. Now, when we mess up, God's going to use that as a, as a means to be able to bring about uh, a more powerful testimony for each one of us. Now, uh, in verse 11, it says, Moreover, the Ark of the Covenant was taken, and the two sons Eli and Hophni, or Hoph, of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, died. Now, the Ark of the Covenant was was taken from the tabernacle. It was not supposed to be taken out into, into battle. God had not had had not uh, allowed, made an allowance for that to happen. Now, I know there was times when David uh, and, and later on that the Ark was brought in, into into battle. But here here we see uh, the place for God's Ark. Was to be in the tabernacle, in the in the in the room, in the tent uh, of the holy of holies. They went in and took it, took it to the battlefield, thinking that maybe uh, that would uh, spur them on to victory. And they they found themselves uh, because of what was going on with the priesthood. Uh, they found themselves very much lacking, and they ended up losing some 30,000 foot soldiers as it tells us there in verse verse 10. So Hophni and Phinehas have died. They they were the ones that brought disgrace into, into the temple. Lots of times we mess up. We bring disgrace into our temple. Uh, the, the tabernacle was a God's first house among the nation of Israel. The temple became the permanent structure. There is no temple at this time. Uh, when Jesus died on the cross, he did away with all of the Old Testament uh, traditions and the way it was set up for them to give sacrifices and that thing because Jesus became the ultimate sacrifice. So the glory of God had departed from the nation of Israel because of the sin that went on in the tabernacle. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. Father, I pray today that if there's somebody here watching a uh, video that does not know you, Father, that today would be the day of salvation. I pray for each person that might have a need, a, a physical need, a spiritual need, uh, 
whatever it may be, I pray, Father, that you will meet that need and that you will bless them accordingly. According to your son, Jesus, we love you and we need you. We stand in need of your touch today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride. And I hope you will keep riding.